level rise affects a large part of the country, about one third. And already salinity ingress is up to about 100 kilometers in some places. The riverbank erosion is quite a major problem in this country. It is not that these problems were not there, they were before, but because of climate change, these are intensifying. And also there is a major change in the rain, rainfall pattern. It's not happening when it should, and it's happening when it should not. This year, the rains continued for months and months together. While you have floods in one part of the country, drought in another. Po population density is highest in the world over a thousand per square kilometer and a poverty still affects about one-fourth of the population and most of them live in areas which are vulnerable. Climate change induced displacement is increasing almost every year in a major way and these people are coming either to Dhaka or other cities uh, because it is not possible for them to go, out, go outside the country. From the Bangladesh point of view, uh, we have said that we will not increase our greenhouse gas emissions more than the average of the developing countries. We are committed, as a matter of fact, to be a part of the global process to reduce greenhouse gas, although we emit only 0.3 tons per capita per annum. We have been implementing uh, projects like solar, um, biogas, and our gas is used for generating electricity, which is not emitting that much. It's also clean. Uh, we are also negotiating with Bhutan and Nepal and, and India for hydropower. We have been implementing our own projects from our own budgets, but yet we need much more money. It's only minuscule. Over the last six years, Bangladesh has uh, provided from its own budget $385 million for mostly adaptation but also mitigation activities. But this is only a small amount compared to what is needed and therefore uh, we need support technologically, technical, technological support as well as financial support to be able to implement adaptation projects. The climate funding has to be predictable, has to be craft. Now Green Climate Fund, there is a discussion, has been already initiated by the developed countries that it will be, part of it will be loan and co-financing will be necessary. For example, if Bangladesh is asking for a grant of two million, one million would have to be provided by Bangladesh, then one million may be available from Green Climate Fund. These are not acceptable, totally unacceptable. Also, there is an agreement, more or less broadly, that 100 billion will be provided starting with to 2020 every year. Now here again, the proposal is being made now that most of it will come from the private sector. And there is a problem. Private sector will go where there is profit to be made. And therefore, they can probably come for mitigation activities like solar and so on. But adaptation in remote areas I don't think private sector will go there. So therefore, it has to be official, it has to be government funding. Uh, I am not very optimistic of a uh, legally binding treaty being achieved in Paris. But I hope that I am proved wrong.